Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Fantasy Life Let's Play. I'm your host, Saigon. Right now, we are a blacksmith. We're a blacksmith. What are we doing? What are we doing about being a blacksmith? Let's check our challenges. Or we could work on uh, some story today. Oh, we need to go mine some other stuff. That's right. We don't have any iron. So maybe time to uh, change professions again. Actually, oh, we could try a new profession. Let's do a new profession. Let's do woodcutter? Let's do woodcutter. Let's try it out. Let's try it on. Look at my adorable hat. Amazing. You've changed your life to a woodcutter. Congratulations, Saigon. Welcome to the woodcutter life. I'm sure you already know this, but your first port of call should be your new master. I've already marked the location on your map just in case you're not sure where to go. Now, off with you. Best of luck. That's a wall. I should not steer by the map. Especially when I'm inside and you can't steer by the map. Zoom. 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 Oops. Zoom. Nah, truth. The recording starts uh, before the commercials end. It's cool. It's cool. Hey ho! Ah, uh, who are you? Another woodcutter wannabe? Well, I'd say you've come to the right place, but that wouldn't be entirely accurate. Stick around long enough and you'll see what I mean. You can skip the introductory quest and just receive the license if you want. Continue with the quest? Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, it's true that our services are high are in high demand here in Riveria. From barrels to bows, you can't build much without quality timber. Truth be told, the kingdom could use another great woodcutter, because I sure ain't cutting it. Why? Well, it really boils down to one thing. I'm pretty much the worst woodcutter in the world, that's why. Maybe I shouldn't have told you that. I suppose it's not exactly confidence-inspiring. Let me make it up to you. Take this. It should help you to get started. Obtained a worn axe. And I can do you one better. Go talk to a guy named Forrest out in the eastern woods. He's the teacher you deserve, and kind of the unofficial woodcutter master right now. I'm gonna have to imitate Paul Bunyan. I've already got the beard, I just need some flannel and some, uh... I can't remember the word. <laughs> I can't remember the word. It's like a belt. But it goes over your shoulders to hold up your pants. I can't remember the word. <laughs> and I do need a blue ox. You're right! Cows are pretty gross when you think about it. Big tongues, kind of smelly, weird noises. But they make amazing milk. Yummy, creamy, delicious milk. Suspenders, says everybody in chat. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Look at me, I'm practically drooling now. Can you bring me five bottles of cow's milk? I'm dead serious about this. I'll even pay you. How does 200 dosh sound? Yeah, sure, I guess. I don't know when I'm going to get around to it, but... But I will bring you some cow's milk one day, young sir. What's going on over here? Story is going on over here. What's up, Forrest? I was supposed to go talk to you. Oh, hey, are you the aspiring woodcutter we heard about? Great. All right, take it away, Forrest. Ah, here goes. 
Grab your axe and get to chopping the forest calls, you best be hopping. It's logs and timber all day long, so swing that axe and sing along. I was now warmed up. <laughs> Let's give her another go. Your axe swings out so sweet and true, the birdies stop their song for you. When lunchtime comes, we take a break, it's time to eat a pound of steak. That's just a wee ditty I sing myself to pass the time. <laughs> See, cutting's a mite easier when you get some rhythm, eh, mate? Anywho, that'll fix your learning. Off you go. Forest, I don't think that's going to cut it, so to speak. Ah, uh, slipped a little pun in there. I see what you're doing, Monica. You have to actually teach people how to cut the wood, remember? Not just sing about it. Sometimes I wish I'd chosen another discipline. The other masters actually instruct their pupils. How is it you have so much energy to cut trees and so little to devote to anything else? Ah, Lassie, I get it. You did not ha need to lecture... Nay, further. God damn it. To be honest, I'm no master woodcutter. Oh, I didn't mean that. And look, we've been ignoring this poor novice. Sorry. My dad sent you here to speak with Forrest, right? Good. Well, it's nice to meet you, Sagan. As you might have gathered, this is Forrest, one of the most talented woodcutters in Reveria, and I'm Monica, a novice woodcutter. I help Forrest out with various tasks, and he's teaching me the trade. Kind of. The novice cutter is soft and weak. One could not chop through a hanky chief. But when your arms grow strong as wood, that's when you earn your livelihood. Come on, Forrest, this is now's not the time. I think Saigon would really like to learn how to swing an axe today. Aye, you have a point, lassie. Very well. Saigon, let's get to swinging, shall we? First, get a hold of your axe real comfy-like. Aye, that's a p dead pure grip. Now you just need to learn the swinging piece. I'll show you how it's done. You do not need to press any buttons just yet. Woodcutting learned. Equip your axe and examine certain trees to initiate felling. Press A to swing your axe and chop away. When a tree's HP hits zero, it'll topple over and you can collect the lumber. Felling trees uses SP. When you have insufficient SP, you will be un you will still be able to swing your axe, but your swing will lack power. SP are restoring items health. Press A to swing your axe. Continue pressing A to attack consecutively at the cost of some SP. Using X to attack gives a more powerful swing, but costs more XP, so watch your gauge. And look at that. Choppy choppy, there you go. Well, look who can teach up a storm when he wants to. Twas nothing. I'm tr not truly a teacher. Young Saigon here is a wee prodigy. Alrighty, young Saigon. I've got a challenge for you. This here forest is right bursting with juicy oak trees. And what I want you to do is cut them straight down and bring me the oak logs. You understand? If you run out of trees to cut, come and let me know. I'll run you on some other errand. Good luck, Saigon. I've got some errands, so I'll catch up with you later. Poor Lassie. She's Hey-Ho's daughter, so she's got the woodcut and blood, but she's a mite feeble. But she insists on helping me around here with the woodcutting chores, so I cannot say no. I suspect she feels badly about her paw stepping down. Ah, enough about that. It's time you went oot and started chopping. Oot. Oot. I should probably equip my axe. Hey, check it out, Saigon! Oak trees! I mean, sorry, I might, it might have been more fun for you to discover them on your own. I'm just trying to be helpful. I know I try a little too hard sometimes, so I'll just stand back and let you do your thing. Good luck! Oh, one more thing. Be sure to have your axe equipped before you start. Way ahead of you, Monica! And one last tiny, tiny thing. If you're low on SP, just drink some apple juice. Obtained apple juice. Hey. 
You did it, Saigon! Nice work! Sorry, did I sound too much like your instructor? Maybe I should go into teaching. Well, anyway, you did a great job. Let's go check with Forrest and tell him about it. But I want to I want to cut down more trees, Monica. He said to cut down as many as I could. Boy, game really doesn't care how I do this. Aya, 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 aya. All right, I remember you, Nox. Well, kind of. I guess you guys wouldn't have seen Nox from my Let's Play. Perry started off as a wizard, so I've seen the wizard opening. A well-placed swing and down she goes. Three cheers for Saigon, woodcut and pro. Crivens, that was a pure cracking swing if I ever heard one. And now you got a heap of logs all to yourself, with the blessing of the forest spirits, that is. Yeah, so Forrest sometimes talks about forest spirits. We're not sure what he means. I mean, nobody has ever seen one. Ah, you know not of what you speak. The spirits only talk to friends of the forest. What? Are you saying I'm not a friend of the forest? No, it's just that ye and Saigon are still youngins. Be patient, lassie. I'm a friend to the spirits, and I've never laid eyes on this forest lady. She's the real forest boss. Funny that, the more I learn of the forest, the more I find I'm still a wee student myself. Oh yes, well of course the forest lady is real, but only the forest protector can summon her, right? I cannot say for sure how to summon her. But enough yakking, Saigon here has got heaps of stuff to do. Like make his first sale, for instance. Us woodcutters make ends meet by selling timber, of course. No time for slumber till you've cashed in some lumber. Ha! Words to live by. Now don't worry about haggling or nothing, and anyway Monica will help you out some. Off you go. Get to selling. Okay, Saigon, let's go. There's a timber merchant in the artisan district. Let's see what kind of prices he's offering. Zoom. Zoom. I'm out of SP. Gonna end the plane noises. Sorry for those who are disappointed. What's up, shopkeep? Oh, hello, Monica. I didn't get a chance to thank you for your help earlier. Oh, it was nothing. Don't mention it. Anyway, I've come to introduce you to our newest novice woodcutter. Say hello to Saigon. Hey there, kid. I'm looking forward to doing business with you. Heiho is your master, right? Monica's father? Well, technically, but it's Forrest who's really doing the teaching. Is that so? Well, he's a genius with his axe, that's for sure. And it looks like he's got you off to a good start. Those are fresh oak logs I smell, aren't they? Yep, you're right. As always, these fell to Saigon. Not bad for a first assignment. We've got three of them for you today, straight from the woods. Hand it over oak log, times three. Well, it they look great. Stout and cleanly cut, just like I like them. These will be easy to work with. Here's what I can offer you for them. 90 dosh. The milk that the NPC asked for, the cow pen right next to him has a gather spot for it. Oh, you don't need any special skills or anything. You can just walk up to a cow and be like, hey, what's up? I'm going to squeeze your udder. <laughs> Lumber is exchanged for dosh at shops or alternatively used as material in carpentry. Great, thanks. Well, how does it feel to make your first sale as an official woodcutter, Saigon? Hey, look who's here. Oh, it's not the cow? Okay. There's just a gather spot right next to the cow. I did see the cow. I just, I kind of figured... It's utter nonsense. Get, get out, Chaos. <laughs> it's Forrest. Rare to see him outside the woods. 
I wonder what he's doing here. Maybe he's got some business with the carpenters. Hey, let's go tell him how the ta sale went. He'll probably sing you a song. We're off. Thanks again, and see you later. Always a pleasure. Come again. I look forward to buying more logs felled by your axe, Sagan. Come on, I'll show you where the carpentry workshop is. Probably next to the blacksmith. Zoom! Out of steam. Ah, I'd love to help you, but I cannot do it. Please, there's got to be a way. He's talking to someone from the castle. Maybe we shouldn't interrupt. I'm telling you, you cannot just walk down the forest path and find an elder log. They're rarer than snowflakes in summer, mate. Could take years to find one. But you're our only hope, and the carpenters assure me there is no substitute. Aye, that's true. Top-class materials make for top-class furniture, no doubt. Alas, we've not found a single merchant with any in stock. And you never will. Logs like that don't exactly grow on trees, or you get my meaning. Yes, of course. That's precisely why we've turned to you. You're known as the finest woodcutter in Riveria. Surely you can track down a single elder log. Look, mate, if I could do it for you, I would. I'd run out to the forest straight away. But I'm not the forest protector, and he's the only one who knows how to find them. Please, Mr. Forest, on behalf of Castel Castle, I beg you. Pal, have you had your hearing checked lately? Maybe we should go rescue Forrest from this conversation. Maybe you're right. Monica, Saigon, I'm pleased to see you both at this particular moment. How'd it go? Perfectly well. We got a good price for the logs. But what's all this about you getting an Elder Log? That's a crazy request. Occasionally, when felling trees, you can obtain elder logs, which are more valuable materials. Elder logs can be sold for a high price or used in carpentry. El carpentry. Elder logs can be obtained f most easily from rare large trees. Aye, you're not wrong. I'd love to help him out, but the man don't know what he's asking. Right, isn't finding a log like that simply a matter of luck? My dad told me that some woodcutters go their whole careers without finding a single one. The odds of finding one randomly are like one in a million. Math is not my strong point, lassie, but I reckon that's about right. Now, if you could have a wee chat with the forest lady, you might have better luck. But she's not known for hanging around these parts. Saigon is as likely to meet her as anyone. Which is to say, not very. In fact, only one fella I know has ever met her. Ah, I should not have said that. It's my dad, isn't it? I... Your old man was once known as the Forest Protector. Of course, times have changed a wee bit. But now Dad is, well... He's certainly not cutting much wood, that's for sure. Monica left her party. Aye, I did not want to worry you, but... Heho spends most evenings cutting down pints of barley juice at the Crown. Without him, finding an Elder Log anytime soon seems a wee stretch, if you ask me. But you should seek him out just the same. If anyone can find an elder log, it's him. Off to the crown! fingerprints on my glasses again. That is infuriating! There it is. Why is your voice so familiar? Did we meet recently? Oh yes, of course, it's you. Uh, Saigon. My name is Saigon. Sorry, I forgot your name. Anyway, if you're here to ask me anything about woodcutting, I must refer you back to Forest. You've already felled three oak trees, and sold them? Well, I'd say Forrest is doing a fine job with your training. I'd still remember, I still remember the first dosh I earned as a woodcutter. It seems like it was just yesterday. 
Dude! No, not you. What? They want an Elder Log? Gah! It's like they haven't learned anything. That's a fool's errand. Look, it's basically impossible. Especially for a novice like yourself. And yet, you don't even seem discouraged. What's the opposite of that feeling? Hopeful? Yes, hopeful. That's it. It's been so long since I've felt that way. I'm almost inspired. You actually remind me a little bit of myself. Let's hope your story has a happier ending. Of course, I still think you're going to fail, but it looks like you won't give up no matter what I say, so I might as well try to help you. This won't involve me putting an axe in my hand. Those days are done. But there's one thing I can try. This might seem odd, but I need you to shut your eyes and cover your ears, Saigon. That goes for everyone in here. I'm about to perform an ancient ritual. Oh, forest lady, hear my voice. I will now begin the ancient chant. Ahem. Choppy, choppy, happy tree, let the spirit come to me. Hear me, oh, forest lady. It is I, Heyho the Cursed. I, uh, well, frankly, I didn't think I'd ever call you like this again, but here we are. A young woodcutter with the heart of an elder has moved me, as unlikely as that seems. So please, wherever you are, drop what you're doing and lend us a hand. Whoa! What, what happened? Did the forest lady appear? Sorry, no, I just dropped a glass and it shattered on the floor. Sorry for the distraction. <laughs> well, I guess that makes it official. I'm no longer the forest protector. I should have known it wouldn't work. I haven't set foot in the forest in years. I spend more time with a glass in my hand than an axe. What did I expect? Ah, oh, well, there's a lesson here, Saigon. Don't follow in my footsteps. I'm sorry I couldn't help you. You are just awful. This guy is so whiny. So whiny. All right, if I was a forest spirit, where would I be? Oh, hey, look, it's a cutscene. Whoa, look at the fountain. What's happening? There's some weird splashing, I mean. I'm no splashing expert, but that is definitely weird. Hello, I'm here, wherever here is. It certainly seems wetter than most places. So, uh, who summoned me? Anyone? You know what? That doesn't seem quite right. Were two people trying to summon me at once? What are you looking at? Never seen a supernatural being materialize in a fountain before? Wait, that means you can see me! That's a good sign. I'm not usually this clumsy, you've got to believe me. So were you throwing coins in the fountain and wishing for someone special to appear? Well, congratulations! I'm here to grant all your wishes and make your wildest dreams come true. Totally kidding. Sorry, I suppose that was kind of mean. Anyway, now that I've probably rubbed you the wrong way, I could use a little help getting out of here. <clears throat> ah, thank you. What a day! I sure didn't expect to be rescued by a human when I woke up this morning. Anyway, shall we get on with business? You're the forest protector, right? What? You're just a novice? How is it you can even see me? Wait, don't say anything. I'm going to practice my mind-reading skill. Use it or lose it, you know? How odd, I'm getting a really strong ham sandwich vibe. Oh, you're hungry. No wonder. Well, try to focus your thoughts and let's try again. Here we go. Ah, you're looking for an Elder Log, am I right? And let me guess, you want to find it all by yourself to prove you're a worthy woodcutter, right? Well, that's pretty ambitious for a novice, but if you're willing to accept a little assistance, I think I can point you in the right direction. After all, I kind of owe you one. Come on, I'll show you. You're one lucky novice, you know that? Elmi joined your party. You were eating a ham sandwich when you were doing the tutorial iron blade? That must have been kind of creepy. <laughs> Stare at the game for a little while, like, how did you know? Can't tell Elmi's gender. Elmi's a forest spirit. Why does a forest spirit need a gender? Oh, right, right. Elmi was referred to as Forest Lady, so I guess that makes sense. Zoom. 
Can I cut those down? I cannot. I can mine this copper, though. And darn it, I'm going to. over here. <gasps> Look at this tree. Okay, look closely. This majestic tree has lived for hundreds of years. If it were felled, it would produce elder logs. Of course, only the most experienced woodcutters are allowed to harvest such a tree. Even looking at a tree like this is special. Never forget that. I've got to say, though, you're giving me a strong forest protector vibe. You look a bit like him, you know? Or is that just you don't look unlike him? Hmm. Are you saying all humans look alike? Is that what you're saying? Anyway, my work here is done. There's one more person I need to speak with before returning to the Elderwood. Of course, I still haven't figured out why exactly you're able to see me, even as a novice. Oh well, no point in dwelling on that. Good luck, Saigon. Ciao. Tell me, left your party. Hey, excuse me. Wow, you really did hear me. And you can see me, too. That means you really are a promising woodcutter. I met you already. What did you once before? I'm what's known as a leaf. Good to meet you. Me and my kind are a special type of forest spirit. I can sense that you hold great respect for the woods and empathy few humans understand. You have the potential to become a true friend of the forest. Of course, you'll have to promise to put any elder logs you harvest to admirable use. And it's important to be thankful to the trees for their sacrifice. If you keep at it with that mindset, you'll do well. Each tree has a weak, weak point or a sweet spot. Change your angle of attack to try and find it. Swinging at the sweet spot causes higher damage. Okay, so it's exactly like mining. Cause an exceptional amount of damage when felling a tree to get more materials than usual. Hint, reduce a tree's HP as much as possible by using weak attacks and watching the gauge, then use a strong attack to finish it off. We'll all be watching over you. Good luck! Alright. Let's cut down this beautiful ancient tree. So the rich people can have their furniture. Or whatever it is they want. Special Elder Oak Log. Wow, Saigon. I was just out looking for Hey Ho when I heard the whoosh and crack of a mighty axe stroke. And it turned out to be you felling one of the biggest trees I've ever seen. Hey, Saigon, congrats on felling your first elder tree. But I expect you'll be putting that elder log to worthy use, right, Saigon? Uh, hello? Is there someone here, Saigon? Who were you talking to? Don't worry, Saigon, she can't see me because I'm a leaf. Only friends of the forest can see us. We're invisible to most people. You're a bit special, it turns out. Of course, Monica is on her way to becoming a friend of the forest. She'll be able to see us soon. Sorry, Saigon, I didn't mean to be rude. I'm just getting a weird feeling we're not alone. Well, no matter. Let's get that beautiful log over to the carpenter's workshop right away. The minister is going to freak out. Monica joined your party. Running. Oh, workshop. I guess this way goes back to the workshop also. Why not? See, I could have just gone the other way. What's it? Eh. 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 The, uh, the GPS in this game is kind of screwy. I think I may ignore it some days.
What's up, Minister? Hello, Saigon. Hello, Monica. I don't suppose you two happen to have a spare Elder Log on hand? Haha, <laughs> just joking, of course. Well, now that you mention it, voila! Hand it over special Elder Oak Log. What? It can't be! Oh, but it is! An authentic Elder Log. Oh my goodness, are you serious? I can't thank you enough! Now we can finally complete the wardrobe the royal family deserves. Queen Ophelia will be thrilled. So do tell, which mighty woodcutter procured this fine specimen for you? Hey-ho, perhaps? No, sir, the woodcutter who felled this log is standing before you right now. Saigon! That's unbelievable! You mean to tell me a beginner managed to find an elder log? Well, seeing is believing. Fantastic work. I really owe you one, maybe even two. Again, thank you. I am in your debt. Please accept this as a humble token of my gratitude. 500 dosh! Doesn't seem like a lot of money for a once-in-a-lifetime find. Hey, we're happy to help. We're woodcutters, right, Saigon? All right, I suppose we should report back to Forest. Off we go. Goodbye, and take care. Oh my god, I'm yawning. I can't stop. All right, this seems like a great place to take a break. I will be back shortly, everybody. Thank you for watching.